Hey guys, my name is Dennis and welcome to another tutorial. So this is what we're going to be creating and this is how we do it. So let's get started. Okay, here we go in After Effects. Let's create a new comp. Um, 1920 by 1080, that's alright. 30 frames per second and set the duration to 6 seconds and hit OK. Okay, let's bring in some footage. I got an image here of my logo. And this tutorial worked with pretty much every logo. Um, okay, let's drag our image into our comp. Um, okay, and let's bring in some text. Um, I'm gonna type in Lori Ipsum. <laughs> Guess where that comes from. Okay, just make sure you're using your right font. And I want the first part of the word Lori to be not to be bold, but to be regular and let's grab our two layers and put them somewhere in the middle yep something like this and now let's bring in some animations so go to your effects panel and type in character and take the 3d rotate in effect and drag it on our text now, as you can see, all the letters are coming up in a nice way. And now we also want to animate our image. Uh, hit S to bring up scale and then unclick the chain. And type in 0 at our very first frame. Now let's go ahead to 20 frames and type in negative 100. Skip another 20 frames and type in 0 and another 20 frames and type in 100 now as you can see it's you got the illusion of a rotating logo okay now let's bring this over here and that one over here as well and now we want to select our second and fourth keyframe right click choose key assistant and easy ease that makes our animation go a little more smoothly Okay, now let's pre-compose our two layers here and call them logo. Okay, let's give it some color. Choose fill and now select any color that you want. I'm going to go with with blue. And now we want to create a background. So let's call this BG drag this underneath our logo and type in ramp let's drag our ramp to our background and select radial ramp let's bring down our starting point to 540 and let's drag our ending point over to 1500 something like that okay let's select our bluish color from the text and make it really dark like almost black and then hit ok on the starting color as well make it almost as dark as the first one and now another thing i'd like to do hit s on your keyboard to bring up scale go to two seconds and 10 frames and hit the stopwatch go back 20 frames and type in 105 and then go back to the very beginning and type in 80. now let's easy ease our last keyframe um yeah here we go now go to effects generate and choose cc light sweep sorry uh let's drag this over here and i don't like the edges here so let's bring down the edge thickness to zero and increase our sweep intensity by around 35 um yep I'll... okay let's go here and now drag our center point to the left keyframe it and now keyframe it over here at around three seconds uh, let's move this forward a little all right now let's duplicate our logo layer by holding down Ctrl D and let's call this Light Burst. 
and you can get rid of your light sweep effect here on the low la uh, layer and go to generate and light burst all right okay let's turn up our ray length to around 120 and bring down our intensity to zero yep here we go okay go to your lower layer um, light burst bring the center point to the very left keyframe it and then go forward to around four seconds and drag it all the way over to the center of your letter M and keyframe it again and as you can see the animation looks quite nice already but it's not perfect yet let's bring the keyframe the last keyframe of our light sweep effect over to four seconds as well and bring this one here back a little what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to have my light sweep and my light burst effect move over to the right at the same time all right let's hit T on our light burst layer to bring up the opacity and keyframe it now go back to 20 frames uh, turn down the opacity to zero uh, put another keyframe over here and then go over to four seconds and 20 frames and put the opacity to zero again okay now I'm not quite happy with my light burst effect here so I'm moving around my keyframes a little um, you see this is all about experimenting you can do some slight variations until you're happy with the results okay I think this looks pretty good now yep that's all right with me okay now let's collapse our two pre comps and, and let's add a adjustment layer type in glow to your effects panel and grab the glow effect and drag it on your adjustment layer and let's crank up our glow radius all the way up to 200 and bring our glow threshold to something around 65 and our glow intensity down to 0 0.0 as you can see guys we've got a nice glow on our logo but I don't want to have that at the beginning and at the end of our animation so I hit T bring up the opacity and let's bring down the opacity towards the end and at the beginning here we go and the same goes for bluish background so let's create another solid and hit T bring up the opacity and zero that out at the beginning and at the end and now we're starting out black and ending black okay maybe delete this one keyframe and put that one to the middle yep I like that but I'm not quite happy with my light burst effect so let's just delete this keyframe as well yeah all right that looks good let's collapse everything and one more thing if you have some additional text or something um, I'm gonna go with some lorem ipsum stuff and I'm the greatest yeah just kidding um, let's try to match it to our lorry ipsum text let's make it the same width and drag our new text layer underneath our adjustment layer go to effects again type in character and choose fade up characters okay I wanted to start at around three seconds okay let's, yep okay it's looking good here we go 
All right, I think this is it. I think we can now just add this to our render queue. Render settings, you can leave everything as it is. Um, I'm gonna go with H246 again, uh, hit OK, hit OK again. And now I'm gonna call this logo animation, hit render. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe or leave a comment. You can also check out my website for more stuff. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Dennis and I will see you next time. Ciao.